in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can access the Windows recovery environment. The Windows recovery environment, also known as Windows RE, is created based on the Windows pre-installation environment, which is known as the Windows PE. It includes tools such as the automatic repair, system image recovery, system restore, and few other tools. The Windows recovery environment is enabled by default in all Windows desktop versions as well as the server version operating systems. But if you are not sure if it is enabled, we can check that in the command prompt. To check that, go to your start menu, type CMD, and make sure to open your command prompt in administrator mode by clicking on the run as administrator because this command will not work otherwise. And when the UAC comes, say yes. And in here, what we're gonna enter is R E A G E N T C. So it's R E A G E N T C slash info. So space slash info. If you press enter, and in here I see that my Windows recovery environment is enabled because it stayed right here. It is enabled. If it is disabled, only thing you need to do is to issue this command uh, that would be re a g e n t c slash and then we're gonna say enable and that will make sure that the recovery environment is enabled so if you run this command the r e a g e n t c slash info and it come back saying disable simply run this one uh, uh, by just entering REAGENTC slash enable and it will enable your Windows recovery environment. So if your Windows recovery environment is, uh, you know, disabled, you just issue that command. But by, as I mentioned before, by default, all Windows computers, Windows operating system, both desktop and servers do come with the Windows recovery mode enabled. So that's the first step. We need to make sure that it is enabled. So once we know it is enabled, next thing we're gonna uh, do is to see how we can enter the Windows recovery environment. If you have a running Windows 11 machine, what you need to do is to go to the start menu, go to settings, and in settings under system, find the option called recovery, which is here on my uh, screen, right here it says recovery. So I'm gonna click on recovery. And in here, we have the option called Advanced Startup. So in Advanced Startup, we're gonna click Restart Now. And we're gonna say to this uh, prompt, Restart Now. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna restart, but inst instead of going into the Windows uh, 11 scre uh, screen, uh, like it's just regular boot up into Windows 11, it will be booting up into the recovery environment. So as you can see, it boots up into the recovery environment. So this is the Windows recovery environment. So I don't need to go in here. So I'm just gonna continue to uh, my operating system. Uh, so I will get out of here. So the, right here it says Windows continue to Windows 10 because I have a dual boot system, uh, but it should boot up into your Windows 11 recovery environment. If you're running Windows 10 machine, you can follow the similar steps uh, for checking if it is available in the command prompt. So simply go to uh, start menu, type CMD, and you need to run the command prompt in elevated privileges, remember that. So go to CMD, run as administrator, and we're gonna say yes here. And you can uh, run the same uh, information that I have given to you before. Uh, to check if the environment is uh, turned on. So right here it says enable. And if it is disabled, you're simply gonna run this, except in here, we're gonna say enable. And you're gonna say enter, and that will uh, convert this into from disable to enable. So that's, that's the same thing for the Windows uh, 10 as well. But to get into the recovery here, 
uh, you go to the start menu and you go to the settings and in here uh, what we're going to do is update and security option here for Windows uh, 10 and under update and security options uh, on the left hand pane you will have the option called recovery and in here you will have the option called advanced startup just like in Windows 11 and we're going to click restart now and that will get you into the Windows 10 recovery mode just like that there are some other ways that you can do this and one way is just use command prompt instead of going into settings or anything like that and this would work on your Windows 11, Windows 7, Windows XP uh, Windows 10 as well as uh, Windows Server versions such as Windows Server 2019 and 22 for example. To do that you simply go to the start and type cmd and again we're going to open the command prompt in administration mode so run as administrator and here for USE we're going to say yes and what we're going to do uh, here we have a command called shutdown. Now the shutdown command, what, is, what that's going to do is simply going to shut down your computer just like you going in here and pressing this button and clicking here shut down. But we don't want that. We want to go into recovery mode, right? So what we're going to do, we, we add some switches to it. So we're going to go slash F space slash R space slash O sl then going to slash T and then we're going to enter zero like number zero and we're gonna click enter and what that's going to do is that will also uh, boot you into the recovery mode just like that so that's everything for today now you have few options to get into recovery mode until next time have a nice day